Yes guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Heroic Hoyland. I believe this is episode 3, it's been a while. Uh, I have been very busy over the weekend and the start of the week. So I'm going to try and get it back to doing an upload every second day. Um, I need to just try and get the recordings done ahead of time. Um, but, straight into the episode, what I want to talk about is, let me know in the comments, I'm going to give you two options for the evolutions, let me know in the comments what you think, option A or option B. Should we A, go with Scotland, so use our evolutions for Scottish players, I know it's Heroic Coyland, but because I'm Scottish I want to get as many Scottish players in there, the likes of Scott McTominay for example, who would link to Hoyland, get him up, make him an absolute beast. Um, I think John McGinn as well, we'll obviously get chemistry for Hoyland. Uh, so do we do that? Do we do option A, which is Scotland, or do we do option B, which is just have a bit of fun and use random players? We can, because I like, for example, Pacey Protector. You know I like the Spanish League, I tend to do it a lot. This Edgar looks like he'd be a sick option for that, to upgrade him. So should option A or option B, let me know in the comments what you think. I just wanted to get that off my chest quickly before I decide, because in the next episode we will be doing the evolutions, so let me know. When we left off, I believe this was our team. Uh, if I remember correctly, Hoyland and Griezmann were just absolutely bossing the show. Uh, Mikel Marino I don't remember much about. Georgia Stanway is definitely one of the best cards I've used on this FIFA. Probably like the best card under 5k. She is unbelievable. Um, I can't really remember anything else about the team other than that. The pack Pellegrini, I remember that. Uh, I do really like Pellegrini. Uh, Gabby, I remember he was pretty bad. But that's the team we've got. We've got about 4.5k to to work with if you want to make upgrades. What I do have is two packs. They're nothing special, but it's two packs to start the episode. Um, there's a loving objectives complete. Um, they're just the the play games sort of thing where you get like the customizations packs, which I'm never going to use anyway. So I'm not really caring. I believe this is Barak we've got here who isn't going to make the team. That is Barak. He's not going to make the team. I'm not interested. Uh, good fodder for an SBC, I suppose. Uh, this stuff we'll just get rid of because I'm never going to use it. Hugo Guillamon is untradeable duplicate. Brilliant. So we'll get Toussaint, then we've we'll got Barak. Both will go into an SPC at some point, I'd imagine. Um, right now, I think we have a two real gold player pack. We do. Now, these can be quite good. Uh, can we get something decent here? It's, a, it's an American goalkeeper, so it's not going to be something decent. Maybe a decent rating, I don't know. Maybe 83 or something. 84. And Alexis McAllister, that's not bad actually. I don't know how we'd get him into a team, or into our team, but it's a La Liga team, basically. But, I'm sure there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Let's see, can a preview pack give us something good here? A Spanish left wing, Ferran Torres? It's Ferran Torres. Again, another option, another very good player, but I think he might actually be a duplicate anyway. We've got Doherty, Mina, Ronnie Lopez, and the Barca Tifo. None of that I'm really that interested in, so I don't think we'll worry about trying to buy that pack. Uh, what I do want to do though, I believe there's an 83 SBC. I believe there's an 83 plus SBC or something like that. I want to do that. Um, I believe it's this one. Should be an 82 rated squad or something you need. I think. I don't know, actually know. Do we have enough in this? We, we definitely have enough in this club. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'll come back when I'm finished and I'll show you what we get in it. Here is what I'm putting into the SBC. As you can see, there's nothing that we use there really. Borja Iglesias was absolutely awful, so he'll be going in. And Van de Donk is going in because Alexis McAllister will be taking his her place, sorry, on the bench. The rest of it's like just like American goalkeepers who are five foot eight, five foot nine, five foot eight, five foot four. Like, they're not going to be good enough. Uh, I'm never going to use a, like a goalkeeper under six foot. Let's be honest. So we'll put all of this into the 83 plus. On my main account I got a walkout, it was Renard I think her name is, the French centre back from Lyon, it was a walkout, um, which was pretty good because I did watch the Penfez video and it, the packs looked awful so hopefully here we can get something decent. Spanish centre mid, Potez. Tiago, so again I believe that's a walkout, it's not, he's 84, but do you know what? I'm not going to complain about that because it's a Premier League player and he links to La Liga and we all know how much I love the Premier League and La Liga so 5 star skills as well, his stamina and strength aren't the best but he could definitely be an improvement on someday in this squad I believe Let's have a look, let's quickly see Okay so Thiago doesn't get into the team, he doesn't even make it on the bench I like this bench the way it is 
I'm really excited to use Rafa as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some games now. I'm going to try and get enough wins to obviously get the, the good upgrade for tomorrow. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Um, so the rewards are tomorrow. I want to try... I want to try and get the good rewards for that. So I'm going to play some games. Uh, and I'll put some of the highlights in. Probably not too many, but... I'll put some highlights in and I might even just save this recording for tomorrow morning as well and then open the rewards tomorrow morning at the end of this video. This guy's team is decent actually, very decent. Uh, he's got Tadeo Malassia as his left back option. Uh, I've conceded already, I need, to change that. I need to change the camera. I need to change this camera, this camera is awful. Go on Rasmus, use your pace son, that's the one, surely this time, Rasmus is at the post though, come on, of course it's Griezmann of all people, of course it's Griezmann, I don't know how Rasmus didn't score there, I really don't, I thought he was putting that right in the back of the net, and this camera angle is not for me, it really isn't he? look at the one two pass in here, this is brilliant, inside, that's the one and Rasmus gets his goal, and this guy's going to leave, we're only 2-1 up, but I mean that, that that passing down the line there, that was chef's kiss, absolutely beautiful, and I believe this guy will leave because uh, because it's FIFA in it and people carry handle getting beat. I just did a little bit of gameplay and done a few moments so that we could get enough XP to get the 83 times 10. Now I'm absolutely buzzed about this, I can't remember what I got in my main account, but I remember it was very good. Um, hopefully, all I care about right now, to be honest, is just getting improvements for the team. I, I'm not caring about getting the special road to the knockout cards and stuff like that. I just want improvements for the team. A wee walkout, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be complaining about that, you know. A wee walkout would do me very nicely. Um, but ultimately, just anything at all for upgrades on this team. Please be something decent. English, right back, Barcelona. So it's Lucy Bronze. And it's not a double walkout, so that is our highest rated player. Although she did come from the left, so I, I don't really get how that's not a walkout. Or a double walkout. But, Lucy Bronze probably doesn't get into the team. I won't lie. Is there a Dembele? No, it won't be a Dembele. Madison, I mean, it's, it's no great, is it? It's, it's really no great. Oh. Oh, no. Is that one of the worst 83 times 10s you've seen? 384s, the rest 83s and 187. Oh god. Thiago, he's gonna need to go into something, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've went and done the marquee matchups. As you can see, like you can't see because the camera's in the way. As you can see now, I've moved the camera. Uh, we've spent all our coins on doing marquee matchups, so we desperately, desperately need to get something from these packs. Uh, I also did a 78 plus rare gold players pack just because why not? Uh, and I forgot to put um, Tiago into an SPC, so we're just going to get rid of him because there's nothing really to put him into just now. Uh, but let's just crack these packs open. Hopefully we can get something big here uh, and make some of our coins back because, God, we need coins. That's decent. It's Beto. I thought it was going to be Ronaldo, I won't lie. But Beto's a good option. I mean, I've been absolutely slapped by him on the Evolutions. We got Nuno Santos and Enzola back, who I did put into SPCs. Uh, but this Beto has absolutely slapped me when I've played against him and it, um, when he's been evolution evolutioned, even. Uh, so he could always be an option. Remember, option A or option B in the comments. Um, but option B could be that we use Beto up front with Hoyland and Griezmann, of course. German centre back, Borussia Dortmund. So it's Hummels or is it Sula? I think it'll be Hummels. It's Hummels. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I, I think his info looks very good, by the way. Um, was a very good card. There's some decent players here. Ben Sabine, not so much. Carl Sola, so Raspadori, he looks very good as a um, evolution. We've also got Dela Cruz. We've got Tovan back in FIFA now, which is quite interesting to see. I used to love him when he was at Marseille. He was so good. Uh, and then duplicate Beto, but I would love that. Uh, doesn't he sell, so we'll just quick sell him. Send that to the club. Already, I think Beto's an upgrade on Calvin Wilson, who I did put into the SBC. Um, I just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of him at all. Um, is that a silver? Scottish striker, Lawrence Shankland. It's not. Of 
of course, it's Lyndon Dykes with a neck tattoo. How thick is his neck, by the way? Wow. Lyndon Dykes, of course, Scotland second choice striker. Um, I'd argue, I'd argue that. Um, I'd argue that Shanklin should actually be Scotland's first choice striker. But we've got Lyndon Dykes, six foot two. Uh, decent card to be fair. If we do option A, if you decide on option A, using Scottish players to do it, uh, Lyndon Dykes could be who we use for the striker. I think it gives him like plus three pace. So he'd be 70 pace, he'd just be a big physical target man to play upside with, um, of course, your man Hoyland. So that would be interesting. Two big target men, maybe play with wingers. Try and play off of the wingers. It'd be quite interesting. I think. I think I'd, if I was to choose, I'd probably choose Scotland just because I think it'd be fun to see the difference in the players. Um, who is that we just got? Then was that Barella? Not Barella. Sorry, um, Berardi. It was Andy Carlos. That is a decent pack. How much is Berardi? He's only about five k. But I mean, Berardi's a good player. He's six foot tall as well with those stats. He'll be fun to use if we end up going through that. Um, if we go through the Serie A route with the squad. Small prime mixed players pack or something that said there. Danish striker. PSG? What? That's an inform? And it's... I've, I've no idea who that is. Vansgaard, never heard there. Uh, but we've got an inform that's 10k back, so we've actually made profit on this SBC. Um, does she look usable? Three star, three star, six foot tall, eighty six finishing and ninety head and accuracy. Six foot tall. She doesn't look awful, but we will just take the ten k because because I'd rather take the ten k. To be honest, I need I need coins. As I said, so we've now got ten k. We've made profit on this, and we've got a seventy eight plus rare gold players pack, and it's going to give us Mizrati. Okay, that's not ideal. We'll go with that. It's not ideal. Al Mizrati. So after marquee matchups, this is the new look team. Now I know there's not very many different changes here, other than bringing Beto in at centre forward for uh, I think it was Callum Wilson that was there. I didn't really like Callum Wilson. I've got a feeling I'm going to like Beto a lot more. Uh, and having two big target men and then Griezmann running off them should be quite fun. I'm thinking actually more about putting Hoyland centre forward and putting the big man up front himself just because he's work rate it's our high defensive but our bench has very much changed now we've got Javi Galan, Tapsoba, Madison, McAllister, Oberdorf, Berardi and Rafa on the bench um, I'm actually really excited to try Rafa, um, Berardi sorry because I think this card looks sick I loved, I've loved him in every FIFA he's always been one of my favourite cards in FIFA at the start and I think he could be very fun to use so who knows, we might go with uh, Berardi, he might end up making his way into this team somehow. Uh, but, for now, this is the squad. Uh, tomorrow I'll come back with rewards. So, it's been a couple of days and as you can see, we now have our weekly rewards. Now, they're not the best, obviously we're in Division 8, so we've not played a lot. Uh, but, we have rewards and that's the main thing. I don't know if we'll up a new level, I don't think so. Uh, but. We've got some packs here. Now, as I just said, it's been a couple of days, so I don't actually know what's happened in this video. I can't remember until I go back to edit it. Um, so hopefully there's been enough in this to be exciting. Uh, right now it is Team 2 of Road to the uh, Knockouts. So hopefully we can get one of them, because that would be absolutely huge. Javi Galan is actually pretty good for us, because of course he is a strong link for Griezmann as well. Um, which is always, always ideal. Uh, we've already got them actually, so... But as I said, I've not played this game in a few days, so... Um, I forgot everything, to be honest with you. I forgot where everything goes, what we're doing with everything. Um, but... Hopefully, hopefully we can pack something in this pack. It's not going to be a road to the knockout. It is a Greek centre-back. So it's going to be Mavropanos then. No ideal, probably doesn't get into the team. Uh, anybody here? Mojica, maybe, but probably not. Uh, just from being La Liga. Uh, of course, we get rid of all this stuff. We don't have this absolutely holding our club. There's no need for it. Um, and we get two packs left, two gold premium booster packs. 
I don't really know much about these, to be honest with you. I don't know how good they are. I've never even opened one of these, I don't think. But that's going to be Barak, so that is not going to be anything handy whatsoever. Um, right, we'll just send that to the club. Hopefully, hopefully this one can give us something special here. It's not going to be a road to the knockout, it's a Nigerian. That's not awful. It's not, I mean, it's not great, but Ajabadi is a very, very good shout. Uh, obviously, and I believe in the last episode, we were talking about how we needed someone else up front instead of, was it Callum Wilson? Four star, four star, five foot three, can play centre forward, left wing and striker, links to Griezmann. I thought it was actually going to be Osimhen, I won't lie, I did think it was going to be Osimhen, but I'm not going to complain because I think as well actually we can we can preview a pack. Is it going to be anything special? It's a rare, it's an Austrian striker. It's going to be Arnautovic, isn't it? It is. So probably a pack that we won't buy, not that we can afford to. Uh, we get Michael in there as well, uh, but pff, nothing, nothing. Um, that's absolutely fine, no problem. But let me have a quick look at the team again because for you it'd have been a minute ago, but for me. Uh, it's been a, a good few days. Looking at oh, we had Beto. I forgot we had Beto actually. Um, although I do think probably the Nigerian striker. I think she might actually be better. We've got Infog on Charlo Ramos. I don't even remember getting him either. Um, but I do think that Ajabide might be the better option, just because she's so quick and she actually looks. She's better at everything except physical. So we're going to go with Aja Bide up front. Uh, Beto will send to the club. We do need a left back. Um, preferably Prem, I'd imagine. We've not got one. But what we do have is... Your man, Javi Galan here. We've got Javi Galan that can play left back. We can stick him in. And we can just put any defender. Any full back, basically. We'll see Bronze there as well. Uh, MD with a bit of pace. Carver Howe's got a bit of pace. Alejandro Baldi, there we go. Perfect. We'll go with that. And that should be the team that we will use in the next episode. Now, as I said, this is a few days later, so there probably has been a lot of things changed. Before I go, I do want to actually just try this. I done up my main account two seconds ago and it's the reason why I actually came back onto this account. I completely forgot to um, record in the last few days. Um, but I do, I'll do i do all this stuff tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. Um, but for right now, I did this on my main account and it's been... I've done a few of them on my main account and they've been absolutely fantastic so I do want to try one on this account and just see how lucky we can get. Uh, could we maybe get a wee vote to the knockout? I would not complain at that at all. Um, but if we can get two done without it affecting us too much in the club wise, uh, we might try and get two, let's see. Um, but yeah, as I said, anyway, uh, I want to try and get back to doing this daily. I was not well and I had I was really busy the last few weeks, so or the last few days, so I've not been able to be as consistent as I would like to be. Uh, but starting today, hopefully I should be able to get an episode out daily if not every second day so we'll just come back every second day um, and I'll have one or two episodes um, ready for you to watch I think the update uh, the upload time I'm going to go with is maybe 12 so midday UK time uh, I don't know what that is for the rest of the world but let's see can we get anything good from this English right back from Chelsea that is not bad at all actually I we reached James I will not complain at that whatsoever. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Who have we got just now? Is it Juan Bissaka, I think? Or Dalot, one of the two. Yeah, I think Reese James is definitely a, an upgrade on them. Whether or not he'll work chemistry wise for Hoyland, I don't know. Um, but the next one is going to be even better. I can feel it. It's an Argentinian right winger from Sevilla. It's, it's definitely not better. I believe that is Eric Lamella. Um, a few special cards and maybe it would be better, but yeah, that card will not be getting used. That will do it for episode 4 of 
Heroic Hoyland. I hope you have enjoyed. As I said, I don't know what has actually happened in this episode because I've like recorded it like five days separated. Um, but hopefully it's been enjoyable. Hopefully it's been good stuff in the packs. I honestly cannot remember. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All my socials are down below, so feel free to follow them. And until next time, I shall see you later.